Disclaimer. This video contains properly censored, but spicy content. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone, and welcome once more to another episode of Playing by the Pound. Uh, this time, we are returning to Helix Fighter, which we've already covered before, but this is a special release that has Patreon additions to it. Uh, All Snaps uh, released the Patreon build of the game, the latest Patreon build of the game, uh, for free for everyone because Flash is dying, so he just kind of popped that over to everybody. This includes new monsters and stuff, so we'll be checking out these Patreon exclusive characters. But uh, before that, of course, I want to explain, please keep in mind, this content is indeed spicy. You may see Full Tour, AV, and other things within this, and uh, if you're not into Vore, just don't watch the video. This, this is your fair warning. But in any case, let's go ahead and hop in. Alright, so, as usual, our controls are the same as we've had for any Barb Fighter game, where we can move around, dodge, attack in multiple directions, and of course get eaten by things and struggle in multiple ways. So, this Patreon build should have Regina, which we've seen before. Uh, I believe she's the same as we saw in the original version of Helix. Oh, I'm squished. And uh, <laughs> then we got Regina Easy, which is a slight variation that has a different HUD. Nothing too unusual there. Again, you can see the original Helix Fighter video if you want to see these characters. Uh, beyond that, Malfarin is also the same, uh, as far as I'm aware. He's the same big old dragon as before. But uh, it is from there that I believe we get into new content with Esmir, the burrowing drake, who is living up to his name. I'm going to guess this will end poorly for me. Yep. <laughs> now, I actually haven't, uh... Hmm. No. I actually haven't seen uh, any of these Patreon creatures yet. This is the... Uh, with the other with the other Barb Fighter stuff, I generally check the content out myself before uh, playing it myself. But here, uh, we, are, we are checking everything out live. Also, I am defeated already. I guess I'll be able to spawn now. Um... Let's see if we can't... Now, it, it was mentioned by Al Snaps that a lot of the Patreon creatures are incomplete, so... Wouldn't be surprised if they break or just stop. Like, this guy seems to have completely pieced out after eating me, so I'll have to respawn him. But, uh, here is the Burrowing Drake. Looks like an armored fella. Let's see what he can do. There we go. Ah, nice. Ah, oh, there is sound, then. I wasn't sure if there is sound. I think the original build of Helix Fighter didn't actually have sound. But I can't recall for sure. All the same. Very nice. Ah, we're moving deeper. Let's see what we can do. Struggle multiple directions, that moves us even deeper. Goodness me. Well, what if I struggle gently? Using the yellow arrows in this case. That, that seems to be. Oh. We moved very far forward, actually. So it looks like yellow arrows will move us back forward, while green arrows will move us further down. Alright then. Let's go ahead and let us move us back lower. There we go. Okay, so green arrows will move us down further, supposedly. I do like how this guy seems to be like wearing armor. Seems to enjoy that motion. Ooh. He's not, uh, I figured he'd be laying us out by now, but he's not quite done that. He's about to digest us though, so we'll let that happen. Hmm, doesn't seem to have actually done anything. Granted, he doesn't have the digest symbol. Let me go ahead and give myself a second wind in that case. Can we get in? Can we, can we, uh, can we? Oh, he just moves us forward on his own. I didn't touch, uh, I didn't touch, even touch yellow that time. Hmm, maybe that's just something he does. Granted, there's no wake command for him, but you never know. Something happened. 
Oh, that, that would seem a little, a little close to something happened there. Well, he's sure loving us in his lower belly, but uh, he ain't quite doing anything with us besides some nice rotations of the hips, anyways. So it looks like uh, maybe yellow is what I need to do then. Oh, I have an opportunity to use yellow here in the middle. For some reason, we were skipping the middle area for a, a number of these. All right, so I just did yellow, and yellow seems to... Oh, well, they're in back to the front. I feel like there is some sort of special button combination that will end, end me going all the way through, but I'm not sure. He's a tricky one to wriggle my way out of. Seems the mouth is not an option, so... If I just do, yeah, now if I press green a bunch. No, okay, I didn't do anything. Well, again, these Patreon monsters have varying degrees of finish. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's literally no way out of this guy. He knows how to dig underground and he knows how to dig you inside of him. And in both cases, he doesn't really care about the sunlight that much about both, both... Oh, what's this? That was a bit different. Was I getting somewhere? That's weird. I was pressing down at the time. Hmm. You wouldn't think down would do anything. Oh, he does seem to like that, though. But it's a different animation, but I don't think he's laying us up. All right, let's try going down one more time. When I have the uh, props saying a green arrow to the right, I wonder what happens if I, at that time, perhaps use the yellow command, the button command, because that might do something different. I don't think I've done that at that time. Seems like to move lower, I simply have to wait. Yes, that does seem to be the go oh, all the way. All right, then. But if I press yellow at all, I move back to the front. To end up in the middle belly area, I have no idea. <laughs> it does appear that there might be commands or actions that are not being indicated by the HUD, which, which again, kind of falls in line with this character being unfinished, I suppose. So there we go, we've ended up in the middle, which we didn't last... It wasn't, it wasn't there for very long, I noticed. Goodness me. Well, it might be about time to escape him and go to the next character, I suppose. I feel like there's a puzzle here to solve, but it might just be a case of unfinishedness. But he does—he he doesn't keep you long in the middle. I gotta say, sometimes he just skip, upright, outright skips the middle too. It does seem that if I don't hit yellow, I don't go back forward. But uh, green only does one thing. You know, it's possible there there might be a, a, an event that if I happens if I just simply wait. We haven't tried that here, I don't think. Well, he did do a little his own little uh, bounce there. But it appears he's clinching, and uh, I'll drain our health bar a little faster doing that. How rude. But yeah, one tap of yellow, and we move back to the front. So, what brings us to the middle then? Is it completely RNG, or I'd like to give it? I'd like to give one more go from the middle if I could. But it is rather hard to tell what brings us to the middle. I do like this guy, though. Good slinky boy. But actually, I mentioned... Yeah, there's, like, no time. He, the, when 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 you're brought to the uh, middle belly, you have, like, a split second to actually do anything before he moves you along. All right, next time he moves me to the middle belly, I'm going to immediately hold... Uh, I'm going to immediately hold down the button and, and just the direction and see if I can get a different result with yellow. Then after that, I suppose uh, we'll see if he has any other animations. We've seen the basic eats. We've seen him eat me if uh, he digs up, which, granted, nope, nope, all the way down. Nope. Gotta take me halfway up, bud. Not all the way down. Halfway down. Take your time. Don't need to rush. You've already got me in your belly. There's no need to rush. All right, there. I got the yellow command. Let's see what that does. 
Okay, no, nothing too different. That being said, no, actually, I'm still in the middle, aren't I? And all the way down. Okay. Oh! Okay, so I managed to do the yellow at that time, and I broke him. So that's what happens if you do yellow at that time. I believe I've already done green as well. So let's go ahead and just... Respawn him. I'm dedicated to finding these things out, you know. It's, it's my bag of tricks, man. Let's see what he can do then. He's biting us, biting us. Can I get behind him? Oh, I can. That might do something interesting. Right, go ahead, bud. Nope, nope. Gotta... There you go. That's interesting. I don't think I remember seeing a green arrow this time. Okay, so I immediately hit green there, and immediately hitting green just moves you all the way down. So that answers that question. And we're back in the same loop as before. Let's actually try. Let's see if he can't do... I think we've seen all his frontal attack damage. What happened if I get behind him? And he kind of skitters off. Oh, he is trying to use his tail. Hold on. I'm trying to get hit by his tail. Kind of difficult, though, because he moves away a lot. Oh wait, I don't think he's using his tail, I think it's just a bite, anim it's bite animation. Because he seems a little confused if I am behind him. <laughs> Stabby stab. Uh, is he invincible? I think he's invincible. <clears throat> or at least his butt is invincible, that's possible. Let's see if we can get him to dig again, because that's something he did earlier. I get back in front of him. There we go. Let's test his digging animation again. No. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot I can do with this situation, but... What if I don't digest? He'll auto-digest me anyways. Got it. Got it. <clears throat> when burrowing, he is much stronger. <clears throat> I guess it makes sense. <clears throat> After all, if he's encased in the dirt, even if you try to get out, you're not going to be getting anywhere. <laughs> it does give him a distinct advantage. Um, I think that's all he can do. I guess there's one thing we haven't seen, and that's just, like, maybe him missing. If he misses the dig uh, attack, perhaps? Let's see, if he can, let's see if we can get him to miss it. Oh. He's very persistent. Oh, he's very persistent. Oh, is he just gonna keep doing this till it gets me? Oh, I, I, you can dodge. Oh shit, he's. <laughs> it's like, well, that's okay. I'll just do it again. <laughs> it's like that one Zelda boss, except for he never comes up from the ground, just treats you poorly. I even stab him when he's doing this. Nope. <laughs> I suppose this means inevitable fate is- oh, I can just walk. Oh, where is he going? Oh, he dug back out. He does eventually stop. Well, there we go. That was- that was Esmir. Let's- let's see what's next. We- uh, next we got Paladin Elroy, the Dragonborn. He's a lizard guy. Lizard man. Hi, lizard man. How you doing? Ow. <laughs> well, that probably broke my back. Let's see. I kind of forgot. There's like a- it's like a- how do you guard again? By the way, the attacks are actually different in this Patreon build. I don't know if you noticed that, but... Or at least, if I, like, hold different directions, I get some cool kicks going and stuff. Actually, yeah, he really hurts us. Like, geez, Louise, let me just... Let me just heal Al up. <laughs> alright, alright, enough attacks, buddy. Show us what you're made of in a digestive sense. Are you, are you chicken? Can I eat a little kobold? Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I, I guess I have to take his equipment out by attacking enough. Well, fair enough then. That's kind of cool. He's got like uh, he's got like uh, frill bits here and there, like uh, on his chest and on his tail and legs. Is that kind of? It's almost like it looks like half plates, half fur. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, I approve the spelling. 
Also prove his little rah -rah grab. Very good. So let's see, there's a command. This seems to be, I can also do gentle struggles. Mm, yes, I can. A few anyways. Also seems that there is something ha that happens if I wait. I suppose I should do that then. Let's wait. Dragonborn, though. Is that a Skyrim reference? I mean, <clears throat> feels a little more literal. Ooh. Oh. It would appear that if I move during this animation, okay, the gentle struggles, but the normal struggles will apparently uh, just do that. <laughs> Oh, I'm out. I guess that was a exit animation of some sort. Alright, time to break his equipment again. Oh, come here, I gotta break your equipment. Silly dragon, you should be using sword like a, an axe and a shield. Just use your mouth. Much more be much much more better weapon. Yes, much more better weapon. I mean it's something you always have on hand. You don't have to go and flip it. Much better that way. Natural weapons are far better. All right, so let's give, uh, let's actually do the wait command this time. Give him a full chance to, uh, well, go from the second uh, stage animation to whatever the third stage would be, I guess. So let's see. Since he brings us down here, definitely enjoying himself. If we keep waiting, Oh, does he just, uh... No, this actually is another phase, isn't it? Alright, let's press uh, right since it says to do that. Though it does break the animation. Ah. So, uh, I'm assuming that's an unfinished full tour animation. Also, Piercy has no... because I ended up behind him. Uh, Alright, so I guess uh, his exit animations are not finished. I mean, it's a very nice, well, aside from the, yeah, entrance animations and inside animations are done. But not so much the exits, which is fine. It does seem like this guy would have a nice bit of full tour going on. This time I will wait a third time, because there was yet another wait command I could have waited for. So let's see what that brings us to. I feel like it's going to probably loop us back to one of the other stages, but... Of course, we've got some KO animations, which may or may not be finished, too, so I'll check those out in a minute. One thing at a time, of course. But, uh, I suppose, uh, I don't really know what Owl Snap's plans are with the Death of Flash. It does sound like he's gonna keep working, though. Um, so I guess we'll be seeing further builds, which means you might be seeing further videos, if we're lucky. Um, where I come back and maybe we'll see these guys a little more finished up, if we're lucky. Um... Okay, so we're gonna wait command. What's gonna happen now? Oh, did he, uh, I think he looped around? It appears. It appears he looped around to the other. So it looks like he looped back to the first stage. So there's like three different, uh, belly enjoyment animations, I suppose you could say. And he loops between them. Let's go ahead and, uh, get ourselves killed in this one. See how the digestion is on stage ones. He seems satisfied. Still do a little bit of struggling. Even though I'm probably a bit softer than before. Enough like a pred giving himself a belly rub after a good meal. Alright. Let's go ahead and try. Well. Nope. Oh! Is that a different is that a different uh, Vor animation I just kind of triggered? He threw his weapons up and yep. So he doesn't need to lose his weapons to do that then. Maybe that's the animation we were seeing before, and I, I just mistook it as me breaking his weapons. Alright, so let's let him switch to phase two and then we'll there we go. And digest. 
Oh, doesn't seem like he has a, uh... Doesn't seem like he actually has a digest call for that animation. So nothing happens in that. In that. <laughs> when he puts us in that specific part of the belly, our digestion doesn't complete. <laughs> Alright, what about phase three? Does that have a digestion call? Nope. So there's only a digestion call for the first one. Well, let's just do... Let's just, uh, get out. Boop. <laughs> oh, what's he doing? Actually, yeah, we should see. Does he have a running animation or anything? Does look like he did a little lunge there? So I assume he does. He seems very cautious, doesn't he? Dude, you're two times my size. Why are you so cautious? One thing I'd like to try is, uh... If I was right, then I did actually knock his weapons away at one point. I have to wonder if, uh... When he goes for the lunge, what happens if I avoid? Still not sure if he actually lost his weapons. Again, it could have just been that animation. But if we could make him, yeah, no, 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 that that was absolutely me. That was a definite animation for sure. Cause now he's just, <laughs> he's just charging. Now he's like, I was a civilized, weapon wielding lizard, but now I'm just raw. Okay, so he's just, he's just going for me now. Oh, <laughs> no escape. <laughs> I was gonna try to like, uh, I frame behind him, see how that, what would that make him do? But it didn't quite work. Let's try again, though. So you can make him. Oh, interesting. He does have a right animation. I think I just have to get really far away or something. Either that, or it's just that's that's how he kind of spawns in, acting all cool, sliding in. Not sure which. It doesn't seem like he's running after me, so. I guess that's just an intro animation then. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time to like uh iframe behind him when he runs at me. Might or might not work. But I will try. Come here. Oh. It's almost there, I'm sure. Super super duper spin slash, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, I got around him. Oh, he got his weapons back. <laughs> Ooh, nice slide. I have to wonder if that slide does, uh... Oh gosh, okay. <laughs> I like this fella, but I think we've seen all there is to it. I don't think that slide has any effect. Be good, it'd be a good transition to a stomp animation though, I have to wonder. Nope, he slid right into me. All right, next we have Chonk. Stonks. Chonk and the stonks. Are we really doing that meme? Stonks. Chonk. He's on the beach. He's uh, having a suntan. Probably doesn't like to be kicked. Actually, I, I just realized, actually, before I continue on, uh, did did Elroy actually have... I just couldn't hurt him. I mean, when his shield's down, I theoretically could hurt him, I think. But then he's so hyper aggressive, there's no chance. I mean, he's running. He's running to put me in his jaws. Hey there, dude. How you doing? Alright, cool. Hurt this guy. Nope. Though, I, I guess I should, uh. Oh, there are. Okay, before we do that, before. I forgot something important. Esmir, do you like a hug? Oh. See, I almost forgot about, I always forgot about friendly animation. Esmir seems to appreciate some friendliness. Interesting. Very interesting. I, uh, I don't know. I, uh, they're unfinished Patreon builds, so I just kind of didn't think to try the love. Oh my, an offer. I can't refuse. <laughs> it looks so friendly, too. I was very happy about it. I was like, yes, I will hop in. Thank you. Ooh, nice. Well, silly me, I'm sorry for doing this slightly out of order. Normally I would do a creature all at once and get every animation and then come back later. But in this case, I simply forgot. So, whatever. Doesn't matter too much, I think. This will be hard on the chapters, though. I, I do believe for all the Bob Fighter videos, I was going to put chapters and indicate at what point a monster was at in the video. 
Seems like these internal animations are the same. But I suppose these little checkbacks will not be part of the chapter list. That's all right, though. Um, how about Elroy? That seems to be the only one. Elroy, did you like a hug? Ow. Elroy, you don't respond to hugs by shield smashing people. That's not that's not a, that's not the same as a hug. Okay, it seems like Elroy does not respond to love. I okay. So that's that's a quick check on him. Let's go back to let's go back to Chonk then. Uh, Chonk did respond to a hug, but I'm gonna actually not do hugs. At least not right off the bat. I like to save that for last because I don't know, just saving the friendliest for for last is always the best in my opinion. So uh He's really lazy. And also, what is this? Like, the, the 17th Fat Gator in, in, in any Barb Fighter stuff? Hey, I'm not complaining. I love Fat Gators. But I'm just noticing there's a sure a lot of Fat Gators in these games. Okay, he doesn't really even respond to the... Pat punching well, slashing I'm doing. Not that it hurts him. So, uh... Sup, dude. Did I break your animation by attacking? I think I broke his animation by attacking him. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me reload. Let me just, uh... Yeah, I totally did. So, uh... Oh, you're trying to grab me. What if I hang out by your feet? You gonna kick me in the face or something, or...? Just give me a look-see, it looks like. Hmm, waits for me to be in the right position, I guess. Two very lazy pred we have here. Yes. Hello, you have gold teeth. You you are pimping. You got piercings, golden sunglasses, golden teeth. Golden race pris, bracelets. That's the tribal markings. One of which has a cube that is rotating very quickly for some reason. <laughs> the one on his arm, one of the one of the one of the little gold bits are is just like Freaking out! What was it doing? <laughs> oh, also, I have no struggle animations. Fair enough. He's lazy. <laughs> That'd probably be added later. I like this one. Something about a lounging pred is nice. Um, I guess that's it for him. Uh, sorry. Well, I mean, for the base animation, because I can't even interact with him. I could try digesting, I suppose. Nope, nothing. All right. Well, in that case. That's fine, because we can also do this. Let's do the love animation, which seems to have a lot. Hello! How are you? Let me belly rub you. Hey, you got pets! He appreciates the belly rubs. I, I can tell this animation's not finished, because I'm pretty sure our kobold's uh, right paw would be on the other side of the belly, rather than in front of it like this. Still cute, though. All right, let's just wait command because that's gonna that's gonna do progress, I think. Ah, we're getting scratches, and then grabbies. <laughs> oh, what? That was odd. We fell off. Let's try again. Maybe he. Maybe it's an RNG. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> he doesn't. If we don't belly rub, he doesn't appreciate. Oh no, Sandvor. Oh, well, fade out. <laughs> uh fade to white. Nothing ever returns. Well, okay. And then we died. Stuck, suffocated with sand. So yeah, it looks like. Uh, that is a KO. But if we if we give him enough belly rubs, though, he does decide. You know what? This is fine. <laughs> what if we wait now? We'll do the same pickup. Yes. I can't tell if he's dropping us. Would be like, yep, that's nice. Get out of here. <laughs> so he gets enough belly rubs for now. Get out. <laughs> Want to go back to sunbathing? Well, all right. I guess that's it for Chonk. So next is uh, next, and uh, yeah, next is well, Cobalt. We actually saw before. Pretty sure she's not any different. Yeah. Let's go ahead and go to Wolf Wolf, which is Juniper. Juniper Butt Wolf. Butt Wolf. 
think I can get a few implications for that already, but, uh, hello. How's it going? Well, I see, I see what your go-to is. Um, can we have a proper conversation? Did your AI break? Let me help you with that. Hello. How's it going? Gonna look at me. Okay. I mean, I, I think this checks out. But wolf, all right. She's a wolf. She does have a butt. This seems to check out. Uh, as it says in the tin. Okay. Attacking does nothing in this situation. What about love? Love. Also nothing. I don't. I think her AI is slightly broken when she uh, drops down like that. I, mean, I guess I could try being. Let's try going behind her while she's like that. Fluffy tail. Gosh, she could practically she could do Telvor pretty easily. Get lost in the floof. Much like Shadok's floof, which you could also get lost in. Alright, so does she have any animations besides turning around trying to butt me? As I will now turn into a verb. No, that appears to be her course of uh, action. Alright. Suppose there's nothing to do, but let it happen. <laughs> Is that it? Is that all your animations? <laughs> Didn't quite get me all the way, but hey, I'm nonetheless trapped. <laughs> <laughs> well, Juniper is clearly, I guess it makes sense she's the most to finish if she is on the right. It seems like left to right is kind of state of finish. So, kind of makes sense. I don't suppose there's any other animations we can get out of her. It doesn't look like I can do damage, doesn't look like she responds to the love command. So... It appears that a rude sit is about all she does. It also appears that if I, uh... do the love thing, it just kind of stops her. Oh, take that back. <laughs> but that seems to be as far as she goes of it. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, well, I guess that's it. Uh, again, if, if there's more development on this particular uh, game, Helix Fighter, I will go ahead and come back to it later, but I'll probably wait till there's a substantial difference of uh, additional content, but we'll see. And in any case, that was, uh, that was Helix Fighter, uh, the Patreon build, so pretty neat, pretty neat. A lot of undeveloped characters, but still pretty cool to see some new, some new uh, voracious monsters here and there. Oh yes, and silly me, I forgot to show the best character of the Patreon build. My apologies. So if we select over here, test character, we have the best character in the game. In fact, on all of Helix Fighter, here he is. Look how great he is. Isn't that, isn't this just a majestic, absolutely wonderful creature? Look, look, he is... That's it, guys. Show's over. We don't need to view review any more Part Fighter. This is this is the epitome right here. This is this is the ultimate.